Hey, welcome into Vinny Rotino Baseball Academy. This is the channel where we're just talking baseball. We're breaking down some players. We're highlighting some top prospects around southeastern Wisconsin. We're also highlighting some prospects around the country. Um, but really, at the end of the day, this channel is all about just talking baseball. And I'm just trying to uh, just, I guess, talk to the camera here and, and talk about the things that I've learned in the game. And hopefully... Uh, the people that are tuning in are able to kind of take something away because at the end of the day, I was, that's the kind of player I was. I always kind of hung on to every single word that someone was saying and talking about. Didn't matter if it was a, a first year player, first year minor leaguer, or a 10 year big leaguer, a coach, uh, a manager, whoever. I just think that this game, you can always be learning. It's just like anything else in life. You can always be learning and take a little nugget here and there from someone that has kind of been there done that or even someone that hasn't been there and done that right so you can always learn something from somebody but um today we're going to be taking another look at a player that i work with in the winter and uh his name is killian Helt. He is a freshman at union grove high school uh very hard working player talent has got some talent uh good player and he's going to be a very good player by the time he's a senior because he works his tail off and that's kind of what I'm going to highlight here and a couple of the changes that we've made to his swing he's been able to implement those very very quickly and so I do see um a lot of improvement a lot of progress and it's going to pay off in results once the games start to tar start to happen here coming up in the spring but before I get into it I did want to uh, mention that this channel is brought to you by Maggie Rotino Real Estate. If you are in the market to buy or sell a home, make sure you're hitting up my wife and her little brother, Ricky Kuiper, on Instagram or Twitter. Um, they do a great job. If you are in the market to buy or sell, they help out their clients. They've sold a, my wife sold a bunch of properties last year. So um, she is very well equipped to help out. Uh, also, um, it's brought to you by on uh, Lockdown Brewers podcast. So Dom Catronio and I are breaking down Brewers, all things Brewers news, all things Brewers, um, three days a week during the lockout, five days a week during the season, once the season starts. But um, check that out over on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast, Lockdown Brewers. Um, so, okay, let's get into it. Killian Helt. I'm going to share the screen here and take a look at Killian the top screen is just is from him in December and the bottom screen was from him last week. So um, I, I wish I had a video and I am kind of mad at myself from when he first came up to the hitting center in Racine, the kid, it was, it was not um, an aggressive swing. It was a slow swing, but now he's, has, he's been able to really improve the bat speed. Um, he did some things kind of fundamentally wrong with his lower half, um, but he, you can see on both these swings that he's going to do some things pretty good with his lower half, but we're, I'm going to highlight his, his right arm in this swing and the things that he's been able to improve. This was a, this was a big one. So if you take a look at each swing, let's go ahead and look at those again. Top one, like I said, was from December. It's not bad. So we, we learned how to use he learned how to use his lower half. He was just kind of guiding the bat through the hitting zone. It was a very slow swing. There wasn't much bat speed to it whatsoever. As you can see, it it is a lot more bat speed now. It's picked up his bat speed quite a bit. And here on the bottom is the most recent swing. So there is um, a lot of good things going on on that bottom swing. Top swing's not bad either, but take a look at this right hand. Okay, so let's first go ahead and take a look at his hitting position. We always want to take a look at the hitting position that these players get into. It's not bad right here where he's getting back to 50, 50, his hands are loaded. Um, eventually we're going to loosen up these hands and there's a little bit of an arm bar here. Um, and then the front shoulder is going to kind of fly it just a hair, but we're going to take a look at that right, right arm. So look at that right arm. It's bent all the way through. And he just kind of cuts it off. He takes a, a left turn. His right arm never extends through the baseball. And look at that left, that right arm just kind of takes a left turn and finishes across his body. I, I don't think I've ever seen that in the past. And so we worked really, really hard. And again, what I tell these kids is like, look, we're changing a movement pattern. We don't care about results. So I actually had him just swing the bat 
and not care if he swung or missed. I just wanted him to feel what it feels like to extend all the way through with that right arm. And we did it and he did it. I, I, I keep saying we, but he took it upon himself. This is a kid that works extremely, extremely hard. He comes up to the hitting center. I have three sessions during uh, fri on Fridays and he comes up early and he's staying up there for extra hours beforehand and just working off the tees where I see him back there in the back cages working on his throwing as well, but he's just working his tail off and he's really trying to implement some of these movement patterns and make them uh, muscle memory. Right. And so this is what he's been able to do with that right arm because of that feel that he just kind of learned how to get on his own a little, a little bit of a light bulb moment for him kind of went off and go ahead and take a look at that right arm. Really nice job right here with the lower half that was the other thing we 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 worked on was the lower half and really kind of i wanted him to get out of control with that lower half and then we can take him back a little bit just because he was guiding the bat through the zone so much that i wanted him to kind of really feel the start of the swing and really get out of control with that lower half and um so that we can then bring him back a little bit and get him balanced <clears throat> and he's really really balanced right here does a great job but getting back to that right arm, watch him extend through now much, much better with that right arm. It's not fully extended through, but it is so much better, obviously, than that top swing where he just he, he literally lets go of the bat with a bent right arm. And then that right arm just kind of finishes across his chest. Again, don't think I've ever seen that before, but he's done a, a phenomenal job of changing that movement pattern. And just really working his tail off to get there. Killian Helt, really, really nice job here. Um, but again, coaches, I want you to understand that these, this is what you should be teaching the players. It's not necessarily about the right arm, about the lower half. It's teaching them how to grind and figure some of this stuff out on their own, right? It's, it's teaching them how to feel a new movement pattern. It's teaching them how to take hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of swings so that they can implement some of this stuff on their own because you want them to learn how to, how to learn. You want them to learn how to learn. You want them to learn how to fix themselves. You want them to learn what it feels like to grind through something and then finally get that light bulb moment. That feels really, really good to a player. Um, and it feels, if, you know, it, it, it's, it's about the player figuring it out. So um, obviously you're there to guide and to help and ask and, and throw ideas out at them and hopefully something sticks in their mind. But again, it's their hard work that they're putting in. So uh, I just wanted to re reiterate that point. And Killian's done a, a phenomenal job of that. And he's I've only he's only just started to scratch the surface with where he's going to go with his improvements. Right. So he's a freshman. Imagine him continuing to work this hard. And then by the time he's a senior, he's going to be a really, really good player. Big, He's going to end up being big and strong, just like his dad. And um, he's going to be a very good player by the time he's a senior. So, And before that, most likely. So um, Killian Help, great job. Thanks for listening. And we will talk to you guys next time.